What's up guys, Shams11. Uh, today I'm going to show you a few ways of fast traveling um, in the world of Red Dead Redemption. There is a proper way of actually fast traveling. Now I am on chapter three, so I'm a little bit through. So if your camp looks different, don't worry. Um, you're just somewhere else. Um, and in indeed, if you're further ahead, you're probably somewhere different. So. The proper, proper way of fast traveling and the main way of fast traveling is to upgrade your camp. So if you head over here to the ledger, um, you can see it's the money bag on the map. If I hold down on my D-pad, it should it press down on my D-pad even, it should bring up the big map. So there you go, you can see the money bag. Um, we press X and we can look inside the ledger. Now the ledger will show you who's put money in and who's taken money out, which apparently I'm doing everything. Um, press RB onto next page and you can start upgrading your camp. And I would upgrade your camp before you start buying guns and this and the other. Have a good gun, upgrade that gun, uh, but I would take your time to upgrade your camp. So on lodging, um, first things first is Dutch wants something comfier, $220. Do that one, and then next in line is Arthur wants a map to help plan journeys. You can see it crossed out on the right-hand side, 325 big ones. Now, that may take a while, might seem a lot of money to start off with, but towards the end of Chapter 2, you're going to get a lot of money, so don't worry too much. Once you have bought those upgrades, if you head back to your camp, uh, which on the map is always the one that actually looks like the tent itself where you would normally either go to your bed or do your shaving if you head round to the side you will see fast travel options see in the bottom right and the map has appeared it will show you places that you've been you have to have already been there to fast travel. So if you haven't got as many as the, as I have, it's because you haven't gone as far. If you've got more, it's because you've done more things. And you can fast travel wherever you want for free. You simply just click on it. You'll be magically taken to Melvin, your beautiful horse. Um, a bit of a loading scene can take a little while and you will ride off merrily into the, well, sunrise. That's its first thing in the morning. So after a few kind of images and this big cut scene, um, you'll, you'll kind of have a montage of where you're headed to because everybody needs a montage. You will magically appear on your horse still um, in the center of town. Now just be careful that you haven't got any bounties because it has dumped me pretty close to the sheriff's office. Um, so you would be in trouble straight away. So just be careful when you're doing any of these. Now, if you haven't got this kind of money, and you still want to do a bit more faster traveling, um, you can always get around a couple of other ways. So the second one isn't so much a trick, it's more of a tip, but I will show you the trick towards the end because I think it's pretty good. Um, if we head over to one of these posts, which is, although it says it's locked, it's because I'm on a horse, you can't do it whilst on a horse. Um, if you head over here to one of these Heartland stage line, um, you can see it looks like a post uh, on the map and you simply walk up to it, hold Y to take a ride. It will give you a list of places to go that will cost money, but you can head there. Um, you simply press on the button, you'll get in this stagecoach, and as you can see, Melvin trots over, and once this guy gets out of the way of the enormous stagecoach, we shall hopefully start going. There we go. And your horse will magically follow you. Um, much quicker uh, cutscene, you will either be in the stagecoach or on the stagecoach. Uh, you will magically arrive and hopefully our horse should have followed us. There she is. Now the reason I picked this place is because we also have the second option. Um, as you can see again on the map we have uh, one that looks like an envelope. Now this is how you pay off your bounties normally, the telegraph company, but you can also, if this guy is open for business, hey, I'm over here, hello. Um, you can see you can pay your bounties, you can also, if you hold X, buy train tickets. Um, no surprise what these do. Again, you have to go to places with train stations is the only restriction on this one. Um, you simply select where you want to go and away we go. Now money can be a bit of an issue so I appreciate not everyone can use this all the time especially early on. Um, my top tip for getting cash early is loot everybody you kill and I don't mean be a bad guy and kill everybody I just mean 
when you get into these fights during missions and it says, well, now go here, don't. Just loot people for a couple of seconds. Um, you'll get loads of stuff and donate that at your camp and that will give you loads of money that way and it will save you having to spend your money to upgrade the camp. Okay, so again, it's a it's a pretty short, it's, it's a shorter cutscene than fast travel, definitely. Um, you will arrive at your destination aboard the train. Um, we will get up automatically. Um, if you just sit on the train, it will just sit there forever. Uh, your horse will magically be with you, and there you go. So they're the two ways of paying for it and the one way of getting it legit. Now I shall show you how to do it the cheeky, sneaky freeway. And I like this very much. This is very helpful. Okay, so what you want to do is bring up your map and select a destination. I already have. This is my camp. Uh, again, guys, I'm a fair bit through. So if you're new, you won't see most of this. But um, you select where you want to go. It can be anywhere. It can be in the middle of nowhere. It can be at a certain town. But I want to head back to camp and go and talk to Leopold. Um, and then all we have to do is um, get near a road, ideally hold back or the picture in picture button or select i guess and you'll enter cinematic mode now nothing will happen but if you start pressing a on xbox or x on uh, playstation just up to the point where you are trotting along that i mean i mean that is unbelievable that, uh, welcome to red Dead redemption everybody <laughs> We try that again. So we hold back to go into cinematic mode. I'm going to now run into the stagecoach. Okay, start trotting along. We just get out of the way of that stagecoach, I think. Uh, and let go. And you will carry on riding to your destination. I am now, I've actually put my controller down. The horse will just carry on, and nothing too bad should happen to you. It should just carry on quite easily so you can get there. Now, while this isn't fast travel as such, you can now go away. If you want to go to the toilet, go off and go to the toilet. If you want to go and get a drink, go and get a drink. If you just want to do something else for a bit, check your phone, check your phone, and you will just magically get there. So there you go, your three ways of fast travel. Fast travel legit, fast travel paying for it, and fast travel, well, just wait around. Um, and as you can see, you'll make all the turns and twists and you will eventually get to your destination. If you ch pick somewhere in the middle of nowhere, the road will take you to the closest you can. Um, there we go. I hope it's helped. If it has, give me a little thumbs up. If you want to see me smashing into more horses and uh, other things as I constantly crash, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Till next time.